Here with Clarissa Shields, Jake Paul, Mike Tyson, and Amanda Serrano, Katie Taylor, both finished their fights. Uh, let's start with Katie and Amanda. What did you think of uh, that fight, and who should have won, in your opinion? I'll let you go first. Yeah. I feel like Serrano won, Amanda yeah. won to me. Uh, well, why she, do you think that? I feel like she was the more aggressive she was learning, the more cleaner shots to me. I feel like she won. I'm on the opposite end of the spectrum. I think that the fight was very, very close. Um... I thought tonight Katie played off the back foot with the great counters and the fast hands, and I think that that's what won her to fight. You know, when you're looking at if you if, if you're scoring it round by round, and that's how I score the fights. You know, I don't really score it by like, you know, um, overall. Overall, right? like oh, is she stepping forward yeah. and body language, and I, I score it for round by round, and that's how I seen it. But I but I seen it being very very close, and when they took the point from Katie. I definitely thought that it was going to be a win, a, a win for Serrano or a draw, mm -hmm. you know. So I think that Katie fought her best, and Amanda went out there and showed that punching power. But a few things she didn't do: she didn't cut the ring off properly. She yeah. was missing with the big. She was missing with the big shots, and she did not have the upper body defense because she kept getting hit with fours and five punches by Katie Taylor, and those you know, power, and those add up. Punches. Yeah, it was adding up. But, See, but you know, speed is power. That's how, like, the, see the, see the hair butt part is just a little cut. It was the punches that kept opening it up wider. And then even she's knotted up over here because, I mean, Katie was throwing with both hands. And Amanda's shots were hard, too. It's just that you can't just march forward. You got to step, you got to cut the ring off. You know, you got to cut the ring off. You got to set up traps. Yeah. And she didn't do that tonight. And I seen her fainting a bit better, though. And that's, and that's what she didn't bring to the first fight. But. Listen, man, women's boxing won tonight. To be here in front of 60,000 fans, I mean. It was loud. That is a dream. Mm -hmm. That is a dream. And the girls, to me, stole the show tonight. I mean, it Mike Tyson and Jake, event. it was what it was. But the girls stole the show tonight. I think boxing fans were considering that fight, uh, Amanda and Katie, as the real main event here tonight. But, you know, but, sure, but you know, Mike Tyson is Mike Tyson. Yes, so, is, yeah. absolutely. So, speaking of the main event, you know, what would you make of... Uh, just overall, how the fight went, and you, Clarissa, too. Uh, what would you make of Jake's progression as a boxer at this point? I didn't, I didn't see any progression, but um, you know, I, I just, I, I like how Jake is a genius at marketing. Man, it, it, it is phenomenal to see that a YouTuber can get sixty thousand people in a freaking arena. Man, it, it, listen, I, li, listen, I'd be taking notes. Even though I don't really like Jake like that, like I take notes, you know. And I'm happy that the fight went all the rounds today. I seen Jake trying to set uh, Uncle Mike Tyson up for the okie doke with the jab to the body and the overhand right. I seen him trying to set him up. Um, thank God Uncle Mike didn't go for it. He fought a good eight rounds. Hey, Jake won, but overall, it's a win for the boxing fans, and it's definitely a win for me to Mike uh, for Mike Tyson because I just love him. Win, lose, or draw. I love him. So who should Jake fight now? In your opinion, hey, you say you want to fight Canelo. I don't, now, this is what I want to say about the men's in boxing, huh? This is what I want to say. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This, 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 this is what the quote don't understand. <laughs> if Jake Paul, right, and y'all complain and say, oh, he's not a real boxer, he's bad for boxing, this and that, he ain't that good of a boxer, why the hell y'all won't get in the ring and fight him and beat him? Hey. Couldn't no girl from YouTube come to boxing? and say, oh, I'm gonna be world champion, I'm gonna be Clarissa Shields. Nobody. And Clarissa Shields don't get in the ring and whoop her ass and send her back to YouTube. <laughs> Which one of you guys who Jake Paul is calling out, and I'm even gonna say this for this is the King Canelo. If Jake Paul is calling you all time off some he can beat you in a fight, why won't you just whoop his ass? Yes. yes. Like for real. Just do it. What is all this? Oh, he hasn't earned the fight with me. He isn't that great. He's not a real boxer. Well, show him he's not a real boxer. Get some free money. Show, shut him up. It's a check. A free check. I heard that they made, he made 40 million a night and Tyson made 20 million. Hey, if they gonna pay Canola that type of money for a guy who can't fight? I mean, for a guy who they say not a good boxer? Come on now. Let's be real. <laughs> all right. Thank you, ladies. Appreciate the time. You're as welcome. Always.